All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that were well, peace, and blessings to elect Israel. All right, Shalom. So this lesson is going to be going into what is the third temple? All right. The third temple is you. Okay. The third temple uh, consists of the Israelite man. Okay. First and foremost, the elect. Okay. That's the third temple. All right. Now let's go ahead and start off with this real quick. I'm going to go to the book of Acts, chapter 7, and verse 47. It says, But Solomon built him in house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Who said that? Isaiah. All right? And that is in Isaiah, the 66th chapter. Okay? Let's go ahead and get that scripture. Even though uh, it, it's quoted here in Acts, for the sake of edification, we're going to grab the scripture. Isaiah 66 and 1, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? That's right. Okay? The, he the Lord is flexing, man. He said, Heaven is his throne, and the earth is his footstool, man. Where is the house you're going to build for him? All right? Verse 2, for all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord Yahweh. But to this man will I look. So the Lord said he'll acknowledge this man. What type of man is he going to acknowledge? He said, it says, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. That's the true temple that the Lord will look upon and, and dwell in, man. All right, a man that is poor and... And it has a contrite spirit. When you go into the word contrite, it means to feel bad, okay? So we we feel bad for our sins, okay? And the Lord, he's looking for a man who feels bad, okay, for what he has done. You know, who feels ashamed for his iniquities, okay? And it says, trembleth at his word, meaning you fear the word of the Lord, man. You fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, let me go ahead back to Acts 7. Acts 7, verse 47 but Solomon built him in house. Howbeit the Most High dwells not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? That's right, man. So what what what, what temple are you going to build the Lord, man? Okay, now you have these uh, heathen. They're trying to upset the prophecies or whatever. And they're trying to go ahead and build a third temple over there in our land. Well, go ahead and build it up, man. Because that land is going to get destroyed. Okay? The land of Israel is going to get destroyed by the nuclear missiles. Thus saith the Lord. All right? That's why the scriptures say we're going to rebuild the desolate places. Okay? Because not just that a fact that our land is spiritually desolate and uh, desolate because we have these Gentiles trotting down our land, according to Luke 21 and 24. But our land will literally be desolate because the missiles are going to drop upon that land. But it's going to be good because fire is a cleansing agent. So those missiles, they're going to cleanse the land of all the all their uh, 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 filthiness, man. Okay? And their whoredoms, you know? And then we are going to rebuild that land up in righteousness. Nevertheless, go ahead and build it up, man, because it's going to be destroyed when the missiles drop. Okay? Thus saith the Lord. All right? Now, notice how it says Solomon built him a temple. But let's see how Solomon felt about building Yahweh Bashem al a temple. Okay? Because Solomon understood uh, the things of the Lord, man. All right? He had that wisdom. Okay? This is First uh, First Kings chapter 8 and uh, verse 26. Okay? It says, And now, O power of Israel, let thy word, I pray thee, be verified, which thou spakest unto thy servant David, my father. Verse 27. But will the Most High indeed dwell on earth? Slakil. But will the Most High indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee. How much less this house that I have builded. Woo! You see? Solomon said it, man. How much less? He said the heaven and heavens of heavens cannot contain the Most High. How much less the house that he's building for the Lord, man? You know? So the Most High is not looking on temples built by man's hands, okay? Now, the temple did have significance to it, 
okay because the temple served many different purposes you know uh government wise spiritual wise okay and so on and so forth all right but the most high is not really looking at that type of temple man okay where was the temple back in the wilderness you know where is the temple now okay we are that temple man okay now moving on i got a whole i got a list here so you know you can bear with me you know we're going to be pulling out a lot of precepts and if you brothers got any scriptures on the comment board that you know you feel that the spirit is leading you to post go ahead and put them on the comment board you know lord's will this video edifies the sheep man this is colossians 2 and i'll start at verse 5 for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and steadfastness of your faith in Mashiach. As ye have therefore received Mashiach Yahushai, the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy, and vain deceit after the tradition of men after the rudiments of the world and not after mashiach for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the godhead bodily okay so yahweh he has that full measure of the spirit okay verse 10 and ye are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power that's right so we are basically a, a building through Yahweh Shai. The body of Yahweh Shai is that temple. That's that building, man. Okay, now we're going to expound on that. All right. Lord's will, it all makes sense. Romans 12, and I'll start at verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of our power, that ye present yourselves, it's like that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Okay, so our bodies are our, our, our sacrifices to the Lord, man. Okay, we don't sacrifice bullocks and rams and lambs anymore. Okay, that ultimate sacrifice was Yahweh Shai. Now we offer ourselves up as spiritual sacrifices to the Lord. Okay, and how do we do that? By giving ourselves up to the Lord, man. That's how we offer up those spiritual sacrifices to Yahweh Shai, man. All right, that's why when you go to camp, you feel that presence. You feel that vibration because we're offering up those spiritual sacrifices to the Heavenly Father, man. You know? We are as a sweet savior unto the Lord. Okay, matter of fact, let me get a scripture on that. All right. Um. Psalm.